morning and welcome to vlogmas day 13. We are off to Alfie's nativity. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm not gonna lie, I am a bit nervous. I am trying to hide it so he doesn't uh, see it and hopefully it all goes well. But I think he can sense everything so and I can't help it. So I'm trying really hard not to show how nervous I am. Um, I just want him to be able to enjoy it, but I can't, it's not something I can force, so I'm going to have to accept that he might not, and uh, we'll see. I'm going to give it the best chance, he's going to bring some little trucks with him. We've put a plan in place with school that means that we have the best possible outcome, but even for him the best possible outcome might be that it's still too difficult and he has to leave, so um, we'll see. I'm not going to focus on filming, obviously I won't be able to film the children anyway, so if for any, by any luck he does manage to enjoy it and is happy either sitting beside me and watching or taking part and I can film some of the sound, like uh, like I can film yesterday while I was doing that, I was filming the ground <laughs> with the sound and then I used took some of the footage of the children from their back when they were walking, walking down the aisle so we don't see their faces and they are dressed up. Uh, but that's not going to be the case here because they are all going to be facing the parents. So I will see what I can do um, and we shall see. I'll be back when it's over and we're home and hopefully I'll have good news. But cross your fingers and see you in a few seconds for you in probably about a couple of hours for me. It is just after the play and I'm home and Alfie's still in school. I <laughs> cry right now. Um, he did the play. He so he was f in the beginning. He was not sure. He didn't want to go in. And as soon as he saw his friends, uh, he had my camera, so I couldn't film with my camera. So whatever footage I have, I will have from my phone. I'll try to include something. He spent the whole time <laughs> filming his friends. Not uh, he didn't have the thing filmed, but he could see them in the viewfinder. And just having my camera there was enough to distract him from the stress of everything. And he, he sat the whole time and he did the play. And just, I cannot believe it. I'm going to say, like, even the teacher couldn't believe it. She said to me, that was the best possible outcome. And she asked him, Alfie, do you want to stay in school? From the start, it was agreed from, like, even over a week ago that after the play, he would go home in case he has a meltdown after. And she said to me, just go home, have a cup of tea, be proud, and if there's anything, I'll phone you, so keep your phone with you. I just cannot believe it. I am so proud right now. It's been a really hard week having to decide what to do with this, and, not, and I'm so glad we didn't exclude him because he really enjoyed it in the end. This is one of those small victories that is massive <laughs> for me. Um, Oh, I'm so happy. Like, see, this is why I didn't want to. This is exactly why I didn't want to decide that he wouldn't take part because I knew he could enjoy it somehow. And the way, like, the school has dealt with him with it was great. Like, there was um, the caretaker of the school who was filming the show for them. And uh, he knew that Alfie might not be part in it. So he came to talk to me before and he said to me, I want to make sure we can see all the children on the video, so if Alfie is not sitting on the bench, um, is it okay if I come and film him on the chair? So he's still in the video, and I just thought this is just so nice because it made me feel and feel Alfie like included. I feel like I'm crying in every video, but it's for I'm I'm an emotional wreck, okay? But <laughs> at least it's for good reasons. It's just one of those moments where it's been it's been really tough this week uh, going through all this and it's something that I've only really understood when I was faced with it. I think if you had told me about it I wouldn't have realized how tough it is and the fact that it's it worked out in the end and he was able to, he, he was so happy. Um, it was just great. Now he might have after it like it might all catch up with him but at least he's done it and I'm so so proud so I'm gonna go and have my cup of tea and I'm gonna do nothing until I pick him up I have an hour and I'm just gonna have an hour to myself just do nothing just sit on the couch watch crappy tv whatever is on and be proud
they're listening to the noise. Eiko is looking at me there, but I have a feeling as soon as I turn this on, she's not gonna like it. Yep. Ninja snaps. Blitzed. And then I'm gonna mix this with cream cheese and make little balls and freeze them for a while. And then they will be coated in white chocolate and mix um, ginger snap truffles. I'm gonna show you quickly the recipe. It was from one of the Zoella videos she made maybe two years ago, maybe more. Uh, it's very easy and very, very good. And it's always been success, so that's what I'm making for the teacher's gifts as well. If you want to pause and copy it, there it is. I'm off to get Alfie now. I actually can't wait to see him. I just want to hug him so much. He won't want me to hug him so much, so, so I'm gonna have to control myself and just accept that even a tiny bit of contact will be enough. And uh, yeah, I am still not over <laughs> what happened this morning and I am so happy. This is the new thing. This is the new thing. And then she climbs up there and as you can see the wood is all scratched. Luckily we can sand it down and all that, but yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Hmm? You gonna climb up by the banister? <coughs> it is now after the school run in the afternoon. It's already three o'clock actually. We don't have anything until six where Owen is to go to the trampoline park for his scouts Christmas party. So I am going to continue with my baking. So I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Um, just <laughs> it was the boring part and well, it's not gonna look like much but I made the dough these are lemon and almond biscuits I make them every year it's a French recipe but I'm going to slice them in very small slices and bake them so that will be completely done then in here with the gingerbread mix I mix it with cream cheese I made loads of little balls like this and they're gonna get coated with white chocolate and decorated after and then in here, <coughs> this doesn't look like anything yet. This is a mix for chocolate orange truffles, which I'm then gonna take and I'm gonna roll them into cocoa powder. So that would be that. And then, once I, so I should have all of those completely finished today. And then tomorrow I can make um, some mini puddings with like rice, rice crispy treats with chocolate and marshmallows decorated and that will be it that would be oh and two quiches <laughs> i was gonna say this seems like there's something missing and i'm making two quiches uh Therese is vegetarian so i'm making a uh, standard quiche lorraine with lardon and like just the way i always make it and i'm also making a leek and mushroom uh quiche so we have a vegetarian and a non-vegetarian version and everybody can have some um, and that will be it so I'm actually doing pretty well in terms of timing uh, my goal is to have everything finished by tomorrow night so on Saturday morning uh, we have dance class from 1 to 1.45 and then we're going straight on to Therese's house so we have to have everything finished but I would like Saturday morning to be a bit more quiet to take my time in pyjamas and then have the time to get ready a bit and pack the car and all that without having to rush so ideally I don't want to have to do any baking on Saturday morning if for any reason things don't go to plan and I have to it's fine the time is there but it would be nice to have just that morning break and yeah so I'm going to slice that and I'll show you the biscuits when they are baked so I have the chocolate truffles finished I'm going to put them in the fridge now and lemon biscuits packed and I have another box to have just in case I <coughs> don't have enough gingerbread truffles to fill the four jars for the teachers. I have the possibility of using some of those for one of them and I want to keep some of those just in case. Um, the jars can contain like a fair amount so I'm just thinking I need to have enough for Saturday and enough for four jars for the gingerbread ones and I'm wondering will I have enough so I'll you know, once the frosting is on, I have 
quite a lot, so it might work, but I might do one on the platter I'm doing for Saturday. I want to have an even amount of all the different truffles, so I might just use them. What is it, Alfie? Flowers. Flowers? Alfie's getting a blue flower. Alfie's getting very tired. So, very clingy. What is it? That. You're watching Presto. It's a snail. It's a snail, Alfie. A snail. A snail. Can you say snail? Oh dear. No, he's gone. Now eat what you have in your mouth. It goes really fast now. He's gone. Really fast. His cheeks are getting bad again. It was better for his nose. Was kind of coming and going, but it's not as bad as what it was. So I'm hopeful that it's gonna gonna get there. Now I have about an hour before we need to go and get Owen to the scouts. So just thinking, I don't think I have enough time to do all the um, all the icing on the gingerbread ones or to start anything new. So I'm gonna tackle this. I'm not gonna bother doing the dishwasher because I'll just do it. I probably need some of the stuff anyway. So I'm just gonna get it done. Hate doing dishes. Hate it. That and ironing are the two things I really, really, really hate. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And yes, although I have to say, since I bought this, um, I enjoy the dishes more. But for now, yeah, I'm gonna get my dishes done and then probably just take a little break before I have to go again. Can you come and show your your new top. So we went to Tesco's, and Alfie saw this top and he ran for it and he was so excited. Thank and you. it's so Thank hard you. to find clothes. He's happy to try. What's on your top, Alfie? Oh, what's that? A racing car. A racing car? Show me how you do a race with a racing car. Uh -huh. Can you do the noise? Yeah. Well, how does the racing car go? Fast. Go. Ready? Woo! It goes really fast. Woo! -hoo. Really, really fast. <laughs> it's so hard to get him into new clothes that when stuff like this happens, I never hesitate because if I know it's going to make it easy for him to wear the clothes, I'm, I'm down for it. And it was only four pounds. Now I have to say the fit is not that great. There's a weird, like the short, the sleeve shape is a bit weird, but um, it doesn't matter. He's happy with it and he thinks he's a racing car now and he's just happy. Are you happy with your new top? <laughs> yeah. James is off to get Owen oh, at his uh, Scouts Christmas party. He's finally going to get his uh, Scouts uniform. They were waiting until Halloween time to order them to make sure the kids wanted to stay on. And uh, then they ordered them, but the, whoever was embroidering them, it's a very small Scouts group, is it easy? And so they only order like, small batches at a time. <clears throat> what is it? Are you a red racing car? Yeah. Okay. Auntie. Uh, <laughs> you see Alfie? Auntie White. Yeah. Auntie White. Alfie's race? Auntie White. Alfie waits? Oh, white, white. white. There's a white square. <laughs> There's a white square around the face. I know I've said that multiple times. So just in case you don't know what he's talking about. Car. There's um my viewfinder detects faces and it puts a red square uh, white square around faces. Anyway. Uh they so they wait to order them in to make sure the children want to stay on so you don't pay for a uniform if you don't need it. Uh they, at this stage he only has a jumper and the neck necker, whatever you call it. They are going to have photo shots for the summer, but they decided to wait until springtime to order them. So if the kids grow up uh, and go get a size bigger, then they'll have one that fits for the summer when they don't need their jumper anymore. For now, when they have the jumper, they need something underneath, but it's, uh, it's not seen anyway, so let's just wear whatever. But uh, it'll be glad because he has had some badges and we've been saving them. 
to for whenever he would get it so I could then wow. stitch them on but uh, yeah so it's good and oh careful Alfie uh -huh. so yeah James is getting Owen oh. Oh. then we'll have some food Owen should have had food at the party oh. Oh. and um, wow. then I'll continue my baking I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna do the coating the white chocolate coating on the gingerbread truffle Alfie calm down he's going crazy calm down a little bit little racing car uh, so yeah, I'll just do the coating on those truffles. So then tomorrow, I only have to do the Rice Krispies one for dessert, and then I can do the quiche. The quiche shouldn't take like I think like the one I usually do. I can do in ten minutes, and then just the baking time. And the other one takes a bit longer because I need to cook all the vegetables separately first. Um, when the other one is just literally make the pastry put it in and then put everything in together and bake so it's easy enough the other one uh, I need to cook all the veg separate and I need to blank bake the cake first and all that so it takes a bit longer but it's a nice process I like to make pies in a way so it's nice so yeah um, anyway I'll go on for the minute but I'll show you at the end of the day the result of my baking so you can have a look at what they look like when he's back from his scouts Christmas party and he got his uniform and he got wow it's a bit messy well you can fix it I don't know what if you don't want it we can have it you know I told them they could have one before you went to bed. Do you think oh, Alfie could too. have one? Mm. Uh, two. Two. Mm. Oh, so I two. I. Well, so I guess his eye. He does two normal feathers. Two so I. I can give him two one. Two yeah. you want, Alfie, do you want a chocolate frog? No. No? <laughs> okay. Well, then no chocolate frog. Do you want chocolate frog? Or oh, you can have a chocolate frog if you want. That's a tin. Oh, there's a good cookie out there? That's a tin. That's a tin. Do you want some fudge? I want some fudge. Okay. Do you not like it? That's a tin. Oh, you really want to try it? Okay. That's a tin. If you want some a little one pig. One. No, Owen is going to have this one, okay? We'll get some, we'll get some for Alfie in the shop, okay? But you can have a chocolate frog if you want. No, not that dog. Alfie, there's a really big chocolate cookie up here if you want to. Oh, monkey. So one was very nice and he's sharing his buttons with that feet. Mm. So here are the gingerbread truffle. I'm so glad I forgot to have those. It's from a set I got last year. But I've used up, <laughs> I had two. And I used up like half of one. Um, so these are the ones to bring and also in here <coughs> so I've made for the teachers so Alfie's I need three for Alfie's class because there's his teacher his teaching assistant and his special needs assistant so they all get the white chocolate and I didn't have enough to fill four jars so Owen's teacher is going to get the chocolate orange truffle and then I started to make uh, boxes to make it easier to transport to Therese's house so these are leftovers, but I have some of the chocolate orange truffles boxed up there. And the biscuits are boxed up. I'm going to put these in a box not to bring. And then <clears throat> I'll just have to do the Rice Krispies one tomorrow and the chickish. And I'll be done. But for now, I'm just going to pack everything and sorting out this. And I'll probably just edit the vlog and go to bed. But... I'm really happy that tomorrow is a quieter day. There's absolutely nothing we have to do at a certain time. Usually there's scouts, but because he had the party tonight, it's not on. So apart from picking teams up and the school runs that I have set time, there's no activities, nothing like that. So I can actually finish the last preparations for Saturday and tidy up a bit and yes then after saturday i'll be getting in well there'll be like exam mode first and as soon as exams are over on monday first thing in the morning i'll get into packing mode 
like for the last day and a half because I need to have everything done by Tuesday night and uh, I want to have the house as clean as I can so I don't come back to a messy house at least tidy uh, so I just hate to come back to a messy house so I'm gonna try and do that the last few days but for now that will be it and I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog